Hey guys, John here again. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you how I discovered Heart, um, or the song that got me into Heart. Um, it was probably about 1986, sort of time, 87, and I'm in my parents car they put this cassette on that wasn't a proper official um cassette it was just a blank and it had a few songs on it um one being which i found out later was uh, the eagles um song called lion eyes um and there was another one with this really amazing um female singer on um and I remember the song, I didn't even know what it was called, but she just sort of sang These Dreams. And um, technically it's not the song that got me into Heart because I had no clue who Heart was, who was singing that song. Um, but yeah, it had a bit of a, it was like, wow, what a cool song. But I didn't uh, continue to find out who it was. Um, and it wasn't until um, 1987 where I'm watching sort of Top of the Pops UK um, music programme and um, there's a video come on for a song called um, Alone. Uh, I have two more copies there. Um, what a very, very cool, awesome video as well. Um, I was like, oh, wow, who is that blonde bird in there? And uh, <laughs> I was a bit like, yes, young teen, young, young, um, I wasn't a teenager then. Um, now I was, what, 11. So, yeah, I was a bit like, wow, this, uh, this woman's pretty damn hot. <laughs> I remember my uncle saying to me, oh, yeah, but I like the, 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 the woman with the dark hair. <laughs> that was Anne. Um, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, what a very... Um, I didn't go out and buy this single, by the way, at the time. This is just one of, of three that I've collected over the years. I've had more, but I've given a few away to my friends. Um, so I left it. I used to watch this... I recorded the uh, video on a VHS, played it over and over and over again. Uh, absolutely sort of like, wow, this video is just as good as the song. <laughs> um, and then it wasn't until um, 1988 where my uncle brought a compilation home on cassette. And I've mentioned this before um, about this compilation and it is Hot City Nights. And this is a very cool compilation. Uh, this is how I got into a lot of the um, bands I listen to now. And um, I was like, wow, it's got the song alone on it. How bloody cool is that? So I played that on the cassette loads and um, yeah, just awesome. And but I still never went out and bought the single, um, or even hunted the album down. And um, I should have, but I was too heavily into um, Europe at the time, and starting to get into Def Leppard, and I was like, um, yeah. This is uh, who are who? What is the name of the album? Because back then you couldn't just put in heart, you know. You had to find it in a magazine. So um, I hadn't didn't have any money back then, and my mum bought me uh, my first cassette, and and then whatever uh, I didn't even have pocket money. So whatever I uh, managed to get, I would scrape to buy stuff by Europe. And um, so not really any other bands, except from, like I said, a bit of what, um, Def Leppard, 
and then some white snake a bit later on as well and um, so then I leave it and then if, about 1990 sort of time um, I hear a song and I was like what is that and it's this one it's all I want to do so I actually went out and bought this on 7 inch um, I saw it in the record shop and I thought yeah I'm going to get that and um, still wasn't very keen with the B-side song but the, the main song I think I got a bit bored of the main song after a while um, and then I, again didn't hear many heart songs did not buy Brigade the album I did not buy that I hadn't even gone out and bought Bad Animals and I hadn't even gone out and bought the first album which I do have um, where do I put it I put it down somewhere now it's here. I do have it on CD, but I didn't pull it out. And I hadn't even gone out and bought the self-titled. Um, so, 1993 comes around. And I see an interview with the um, Anne and Nancy from uh, Heart. And um, they had just released this album. And it is Des uh, Desire Walks On, which is a very cool album, uh, especially when you put on Back in Black. And um, which is a cover, I think. That is, um, yeah, there's a there's an, a woman that wrote that song, but I think, I think they wrote it with her. It's definitely got Anne and Nancy's name on there as well. Um... But yeah, this, this, the song that they played was Will You Be There in the Morning? And I thought that's a very cool song. And um, I went, I think I went out and bought that. I do have the CD, uh, sorry, did I buy it on vinyl? No, I didn't go out and buy it actually. I just went out and bought the album. But I brought it on cassette. Um, and then I went, out and I bought Bad Animals on cassette and Brigade and the first album and then somebody who I knew at the time they gave me a copy of um, Rock This House I think it's called the Heart um, live album which is all right I wasn't that keen on live albums um, back then and um, and that's more or less how I got into heart. Um, but I really, it wasn't until about 10, 15 years later that I actually got into the early 70s stuff. Um, and well, into well the 70s stuff in total, really. Um, that was when I, I liked the band uh, a lot more. I preferred the 70s stuff and the uh, mid to late 80s stuff the most. And obviously that album, um, that one's great. Um, I'm really not a huge fan of the um, the later stuff. I think the last great album of heart that I like is the um, Jupiter's Darling one. Um, but yeah, I've got loads of heart on the as well to show but I'm not going to show that in this video because this video is mainly down to how I discovered heart and my little story um, but yeah very cool um, band if you don't know who heart are I recommend listening to um, the song alone not on your own just um, the song alone and um, what else what else um, back uh, the ones on there that I like the most. Um, There's the girl. Who will you run to? Is a great single as well. There's the girl was a single, and um, off of the first album, or the, the first um, shouldn't say first album. 
this is uh, self-titled that's what I should have said but yeah um, this is the one that got them really big and I say if looks could kill what about love never in these dreams nothing at all those would be the ones that I would choose off of there sorry about the glare but yeah very very cool and um, yes pretty damn cool I'm going to let you get on with your, uh, your evening and um, trying to think what I'm going to do for the next one. I've got quite a few bands I want to do tell the stories of, but we'll see. I um, hope I haven't bored anybody. And <laughs> cheers for watching and keep rocking and listening to whatever it is you're listening. Listen to, sorry. Um, yeah, these... Trying to bring up these memories from 30 something years ago is it's quite difficult sometimes, but I'm trying my best. See you later. Cheers.